With a loss to Oregon, is Ohio State and Clemson out of the playoffs, Coach? No, I, I don't think either one of them are out, unless maybe Notre Dame runs the table, which doesn't look likely at the present time. But you have to look and say, well, uh, who who's going to be in it? Yeah, you put Alabama, you put Georgia in it, Oklahoma in it, then one of the other two, I think, would come from either Clemson or Ohio State. And I think Ohio State has a better chance because you have some nationally ranked teams that they will have to play. You have Penn State, who's ranked. You have Michigan, et cetera. Whereas, on the other hand, Clemson really doesn't have a challenge where they can move up the ladder. But then again, if they went out, who knows what's going to happen. Each and every week is completely different. You have a different team every week. You never have the same team show up. Coach, USC, what's going on out there? Clay Helton gets fired after the second game of the season. He's been 11-3 under the athletic director, Mike Bond, since he's been there. He got there late 2019. How do you fire a coach that early in the season? Well, if you're the AD, you can do anything. But <laughs> I think he made some good points when he talked about it. They put an awful lot of money into facilities, everything else. They want to be a premier football team. They want to get back. The 11 years I was at Notre Dame, Mark, we played Southern Cal. They were a top 10 team, I think, every single year we played them. They were the championship hunt. They, they were a great football team, and they want to get back to that. And they are going to do that unless they play much better defense. Uh, Elton uh, is a very fine man, a fine coach offensively. They throw the ball an awful lot, but he just wants to move on. Now the question is, where do they go? Well, first thing I think is Lane Kiffin's the best young coach around right now. Uh, won the championship at Florida uh, Atlantic, I think it was. And then, of course, he's done a tremendous job in Mississippi. They're much improved on defense. Uh, I think Corolla, the quarterback, is one of the best in the country. Quick release, talented. But I, the guy I would go to is O'Brien. He's the offensive coordinator at uh, Alabama. But let's look at his resume. He, he was with the Patriots, I think, and then he went to uh, Penn State, did a tremendous job with the Houston Texans, made the playoffs, I think, five straight years. Uh, then there was some controversy. Now he's the offensive coordinator at Alabama under Nick Saban. But you you don't want to just get a good coach who, who doesn't know how to win a championship, knows how to do a good job with the talent they have. Uh, you know, we can be talking about the coach at uh, – uh, TCU. We can be talking about uh, the, the coach at uh, Northwestern, but I would look at Dan Mullins. I look at people like that that really have a good resume that want to win a championship. And if I'm Dan Mullins, I'm sitting there saying, "Yeah, this is great." But boy, I tell you, they're going to offer me an awful lot of money. I have a better chance to win. I have a better chance to win. So there are an awful lot of enticing things about that job. But the fact that they made a total commitment to being the very best in facilities and money poured into the program, they expect great results. And you look at Southern Cal, it was obvious after the tobacco against uh, Stanford. Here, here's a football team that wasn't particularly good going into that game. And they absolutely demolished Southern Cal.